New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor Michael Goodwin is here. Michael, good to see you. We got a kind of inkling of, of who might replace her as leader of the Democrats in the minority section in the House. And it's it's likely to be uh, Hakeem Jeffries. It, we're not certain of that, but it's that's uh, the, the, the odds on favorite, we're told. He's kind of a link between the moderates and the squad. Is that a wise choice? Well, look, uh, he's a New Yorker. Um, he's also a generational change. So, and he's uh, a black New Yorker. So, I, I think there's a lot of uh, symbolism and reality to the choice. It does take it away from that older generation. None of the people who have been around her forever, Steny Hoyer, James Clyburn, all is just about as old as she is. So, you've got a generational change here. And uh, I, I think, for Pelosi's point, uh, had the had the uh, Democrats held the House, I think she would have stayed. But nobody wants to be the minority leader. Everybody wants to be the majority leader, the speaker, not the, not the minority yeah. leader, because there's not a lot of fun, particularly in the House. You have no power whatsoever. Well, let's talk about the new majority then. Uh, it's just barely that. 218 is what they needed. They just have that, the Republicans. How, how do you think they're doing? Well, look, I, I thought the first thing today was very interesting that uh, uh, Jim Jordan and uh, Comer from Kentucky came out and talked about their plan for an investigation uh, with the Judiciary Committee on uh, not just Hunter Biden, but Joe Biden. And I think that's the crucial distinctions to, to make right now, because we know all about Hunter Biden. What we don't know all about is Joe Biden, how much money he got from Hunter's businesses, and they have they have have already gone down that road, They're these two Republicans, saying that there's no question, based on the laptop and other evidence, that Joe Biden profited. We know he was going to be the secret partner uh, in the stake with the Chinese energy company. Uh, but uh, if we know that from Tony Bobolinsky and from the laptop. Uh, so now the question is, what, what did the Bidens give in return for that? The, yes. the congressman today talked about the uh, selling access. I want I wonder, though, if it really wasn't more than access. As I wrote recently, David, Bob Alinsky is now of the opinion that this was a Chinese intelligence operation. This was not a business deal so much as a government project to infiltrate the Biden family. And so the question is, is looming, is Joe Biden compromised in his mm. dealings with China? That's a very big issue when you consider, for example, what looked like a very weak performance in his meetings with Xi Jinping the other day. Uh, no, no mention of COVID. Uh, he said that uh, Biden came away as though it was a big news event that Taiwan said, they said no uh, invasion of Taiwan was imminent. That was his conclusion. Right. That's hardly a victory. What does imminent mean? But do you have not that they still might do it a year from now? Uh, that's hardly a, a thing to be encouraged about. So there is there are many reasons to worry about Joe Biden's not just his fitness, but his relations with China and whether he is compromised. Well, I'm extremely worried about all these things. I think millions of Americans are. The question is, though, investigative fatigue. I mean, there is we've we've had so many of these January 6th committees committee hearings. I'm just wondering whether even if it's even if there's there's real gold there to be mined by an investigation, uh, whether Americans have the patience to really search with Republicans for an answer to these questions. Look, I, I think you, you can do two things at once. They can both whistle and, and, you know, walk at the same time, or chew gum and walk, I guess is the phrase, right? But they can do that. I mean, they, they need to do legislation. They'll run into Senate roadblocks. But I think the Republicans, you're right, the Republicans need to show that they care about the problems plaguing the economy, the border. And so I think there are a lot of things to be done legislative-wise. And I think at the same time, they can do their investigations into the Biden into uh, Mayorkas, for example, and, and the border. So it, it's, it's going to be a, a big challenge, and I hope that the Republicans are waking up early, staying up late, working very hard at this, because I think they have a lot of resistance to overcome among the public. I mean, I think they should have won more seats. The fact that they didn't, I think, is owing, in many cases, to the fact they didn't really put out a plan yeah. what they would do with their majority. So now they have it. It's narrow. Uh, we don't know the exact final total yet, but they have to use it smartly, wisely, and quickly.
Right. They've got to take a page from Newt Gingrich and his contract for America. That's the last person who had a really cohesive plan from a House of Republicans. Good to see you, yes. Michael. Thank you very much.